For this week's head-to-head, -head, we beat two small SUVs, which have a lot in common. From Japan, we have the Mazda CX-5, a relatively newcomer in the segment. This is not Mazda's first rodeo at the compact SUV market, with the Mazda Tribute being sold from 2002 to 2009. Over at Korea, the Hyundai Tucson, now in its third generation. This popular Hyundai has been a bestseller for the brand since its introduction 12 years ago. How do these SUVs stack up? Let's take a closer look. This week's head-to-head -head puts a spotlight on two popular compact crossovers, the Hyundai Tucson and the Mazda CX-5. Let's start this comparo by first taking a look under their hoods. The two have similarities when it comes to engine options, both being available in gas and diesel variants. In the Hyundai Tucson, its gas engine is a 2.0-liter Theta 2 engine that produces 155 PS and 192 Nm of torque. Its diesel engine, meanwhile, is a 2.0-liter CRDI unit with 185 PS and 402 Nm of torque. The Mazda meanwhile has three engine options to choose from, with two gas units and one turbo diesel. It starts with a 2.0-liter Sky Active G engine with an output of 155 PS and 200Nm of torque. Higher up the range is a 2.5-liter Sky Active G engine that puts out 188 PS and 215Nm of torque. Topping the CX-5 range is a 2.2-liter Sky Active D turbo diesel with 185 PS and 420Nm of torque. Both are available with either front-wheel or all-wheel drive, with the latter being available in their respective top-of-the-line models. The Hyundai holds the distinction of being one of the few compact crossovers in the market that can be equipped with a 6-speed manual. The automatic transmission for both the CX-5 and Tucson are 6-speed units. Both have similar suspension setups with McPherson struts at the front and multi-link at the rear. Inside the Tucson follows the Marquis T-Design dashboard layout. It is upright and formal, with a center stack being aimed towards the driver for easier reach. Top-of-the-line models get leather seats with 8-way power adjust for the driver and 4-way for the passenger. On top of that, it also gets automatic climate control. As for the rear seats, it gets a 60-40 split and rear passengers are treated to their own set of aircon vents. Information is provided by a TFT multi-info display with various menus plus steering wheel mounted controls for convenience. The Mazda meanwhile caters to those looking for a sporty flair in their crossovers. Hooded dials further accent this feeling, as well as a driver-centric center console. The sporty feel is further enhanced with red ambient lighting. For the Mazda, it gets power seats for both driver and front passenger, leather trim, multi-information display, multi-function steering wheel, automatic climate control, and 60-40 split-fold seats. As for entertainment, the Tucson uses a 4.3-inch LCD. Functions include CD, MP3, AUX input, Bluetooth, and USB, and audio is coursed through six speakers. Smartphone users will also be able to integrate their devices into the infotainment system and the option to store and save contacts. Moving to the Mazda, it is equipped with a 7-inch monitor that can be controlled by the scroll wheel or by touch. The monitor also houses vehicle information such as fuel economy, average speed, diagnostics, and the service manual. Functions for Mazda's infotainment system includes Bluetooth, MP3, auxiliary, and two USB ports. Sound is channeled through six speakers in the entry-level variant, while the top-of-the-line models get a Hi-Fi Bose sound system with nine speakers. It's now time to take a look at each SUV's exterior designs, starting with a Mazda. The CX-5 features the Marquis Kodo design study with more aggressive lines and sharp angles. The signature hexagonal grille makes its presence known with a large Mazda logo in the center. Unique headlights and defined creases give Mazda's compact crossover contender a sporty look. More creases and lines can be seen on the side, while the rear continues the sharp, angled theme with its sporty-looking tail lights. The Hyundai Tucson also features the brand's latest design philosophy. Dubbed Fluidic Sculpture 2.0, it emphasizes aerodynamics while incorporating sweeping lines from bumper to bumper. A bold grille takes center stage, which is then complemented by a pair of slim headlights. This aerodynamic take on the crossover carries onto the side and rear with slim windows and a tapered rear section. With an emphasis on practicality, the tailgate of the Tucson has a low lift over height, and wrapping the sides of the rear quarters are a pair of slim, distinct tail lights. On the safety check, both have ABS with electronic brake force distribution. 
stability control, and traction control. Both also have a full range of airbags for the front driver and front passenger, as well as side airbags. Onto variants, the Mazda CX-5 has five models to choose from, which range from 1,345,000 pesos to 1,985,000 pesos. These are the 2.0 FWD Max, 2.0 FWD Pro, 2.5 AWD Sport, and 2.2 AWD Sport Skyactiv-D Turbo Diesel. Moving to the Tucson, there are also five variants that are available which range from 1,088,000 pesos to 1,558,000 pesos. Tucson variants are the 2.0 GL manual transmission gas, 2.0 liter GL automatic transmission gas, 2.0 automatic transmission GL CRDI, and 2.0 automatic GLS CRDI. A 2.0 automatic transmission GLS CRDI with all-wheel drive is also available on special order basis. What we have just compared are two crossovers that offer style, substance, and practicality in spades. As the Hyundai Tucson and the Mazda CX-5 have shown, crossovers don't have to be square to be practical. With wide model range selections, there will always be a CX-5 and Tucson to suit your needs.